Does your app interact with a SQL database? If you're looking for a powerful yet concise way to do it using Python, let's take a look at SQL model. Install with pip install SQL model. Here's an example from a Flask app I've been writing. It's a simple blogging platform where users can enter a blog title and content, and then this gets saved to a database. We want the post ID to be auto-generated and to be the primary key of the table. We also want the publishing date to default to the time that the row was created. Here's how we tell SQL model to do just that. I've placed that in my models slash post.py file. But how do we use this model? Well, let's go over to app.py where I've defined my two routes. We need to set up the database engine and SQL model works with any relational database. Here, we're just using SQLite for simplicity, but you can swap it out for Postgres by passing in a Postgres connection string instead. I'm making sure that all my tables exist before dealing with the first request to the app. When it comes to creating a post, we're going to receive form data and we'll use SQL model to create a post object. We can then add that directly to the session and that is how we insert data into our database. Similarly, when we go to display a post, our endpoint takes the post title in the URL. We then use that to find a post matching the title provided. Note how clear the syntax for making database queries is. When we call the first method, that gives us a post object. In the following line, we can then use the title provided and post.content to pass in what our template expects. There's a lot more that you can do with SQL model. It simplifies a lot of the database code while also being very extensible since it uses SQL Alchemy and Pydantic in the background. If you like this video and wanna watch more like it, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about this and you'd like me to cover it in more detail, comment below to let me know. Thanks.